facing extinction. The rarest marine mammal caught in a web. Nobody's fishing directly for vaquita, but of course vaquita get caught as bycatch. That's the result of you know decades and decades of fishing. Nosotros nos encargábamos de marcar una zona imaginaria que estaba predispuesta por unas coordenadas en nuestro GPS. En ese momento no teníamos una delimitación física. By adding these buoys in and communicating directly with the fishermen, we're basically doing all that we can at this point to ensure that people stay out of this critical central zone so that if it can make a recovery, it will. I think it's an amazing point that we've got to on this campaign that for the first time we have a clearly marked area that we have no pangers entering into. I think we all have a lot of hope that what we're doing right now will be what the Vaquita needs to you know, have the space and time that it needs to recover. To have the government, central and local, the Navy, Sea Shepherd, other NGOs is incredible. It's a huge step for Sea Shepherd and for everyone concerned about the Vaquita. Después de tanto esfuerzo y después de tanto apoyo que hemos recibido, sería demasiado triste que perdiéramos la batalla en la preservación de la vaquita marina por la negligencia y la avaricia de unas cuantas personas. To come away from that area now, to step back from the level that we've got to, would, would be a massive shame. We have to continue and we have to keep that safe space for the vaquita.